All right. Hey, yeah. Hi, all. Welcome. Jumping into the March 16th uh, IPFS Implementer Sync. Uh, yeah, and you see different folks on the call from some different groups, but we're glad you're all here. Feel free to um, add anything to the agenda and posting it here in Zoom chat. Um, yeah, and so in terms of just working here through the agenda, all right, I guess I can share my screen if that helps. Uh, shoot. Okay. Great. Um, yeah, so in terms of action items that we had from last time, yeah, there was one just about the reader privacy work that was happening for indexers that currently lives in the IPNI specs repo, but just want to make sure we actually get an IP. Oh, sorry, when it comes to changes to the HTTP delegated routing, that that shows up as an IPIP and IPFS specs and did get confirmation that that is all part of part of the plan. Um, so, so we'll assume that happens. Uh, you know, the Unix FS reboot and getting eyes on that. We're kind of, you know, we're not planning to push on that right now. I, I guess um, when so this was drafted by Hugo, uh, partly in response to, you know, Iro last year, working through getting a, a Unix FS implementation in, in Rust, you know, that they were hitting various things that weren't specified. And so that's what kind of propelled this effort. Um, but it, it does need more review. And the thinking was that we will it will get bumped into again, particularly probably from people like Robin, et cetera, who are working more at the core uh, and are kind of expanding outwards in some of our specs efforts. So given there's nothing you know, immediately blocked by this, I think we're okay to let this uh, live as is. But that, so I'm, I guess planning not to bring that one up for a little while. Um, there, there is drafted spec for when someone needs to or, or wants to engage more on that guy. So there's that. Um, yeah, announcements. And again, if others have announcements they want to throw in, whether RIA or other IPFS implementations like like Lassie, please feel free to. Um, I guess on the Kubo end, the 019 release for Kubo should be happening on Monday. There has been some delay due to some either bugs found in the release candidate or regression, yeah, partly regressions or recognizing um, you know, we're going to be deprecating the pub sub. RPC commands in, in Kubo and realizing, hey, we should just get that deprecation in place. Um, so anyway, there's been some things that have held up that release, but we expect that to be coming out on Monday, but it's also partly dependent on a WebSockets uh, connectivity regression that H Hannah actually helped find, and we want to see where Golip2P is going to be at with that. Anyway, there's more details linked off of the, the issue, but that's on the Kubo end, and then we're still aiming to do a follow-up release, which will no major not not a lot of big features planned, but I want, do want to get another release or at least release candidate out before IPFS thing. That's on the Kubo front. And then on uh, Helia, again, this is moving forward, but uh, you know, slowly given there's you know, less than a human, one person on it. Uh, but the recording from the last demo was published to YouTube and there is another demo happening on Monday where Alex will be showing the latest progress and actually going to be working on more clearly articulating kind of some of the roadmap for that project here to tomorrow. So we'll have more to sh share there again. The community engagement and a community communication about Helia has certainly been, uh, you know, not where we want it to be, but it's also just a function of how few, um, you know, there's just very limited resourcing on that. Um, but that, that's what I have to say on Helia. And yeah, do you want to say anything on Lassie, Hannah? I don't know if you're talking, you're, you're muted right now, Hannah. All right, Lassie is effectively an, an, another Go, a form of a Go IPFS implementation. Um, and uh, sorry, I was just filling this out. Like uh, in, in working on it, I think it is revealed, there's no website for us yet. Um, <clears throat> uh, in working on it, it's revealed, at least to me, some big sort of like missing features around uh, configurability and observability within the BitSwap implementation. Um, uh, and I filed issues for that. Uh, so I'll, I'll follow up offline. So, yeah. Okay. Th th okay, th th thanks. And you put these issues in, I guess, go to IPFS? Yep. In okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Th okay, thank, thank you for, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for doing that. And cool, I feel free to link to 
the Lassie repo if if you want, but I know this is actively being being developed. Yeah, right it's now. very very early on. So, okay, cool. Are there any other announcements, release announcements, anyone wanted to make? Okie doke. All right, I'm going to skip that real conversation because we don't have them here again. Uh, Lytle, you want to talk IP IPs? Yeah, this one it will be fairly brief because uh, the team was busy. So uh, ready for final reviews. Uh, it looks the same. It's uh, yeah, yeah, on the project board. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, so ready for final reviews. It's uh, it, this one is like both ratified and already shipped with Kubo uh, 19 RC1. So it's uh, mo mostly waiting for final Kubo release. We also want to uh, register uh, content type uh, at IANA uh, and then just update uh, the document so it links uh, to, the, to the content type uh, there. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's done. We even have our own codec. Um, in the in progress column, uh, also, so there's like one thing that I've added to the agenda, which is a, a, a compact de denialist format from Hector. Uh, I believe that's the 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 delta since we last uh, had this call mm -hmm. uh, last time, and I mention it because it's uh, it's in the interesting context. Uh, of already existing uh, improvement uh, proposal uh, submitted by Cloudflare, but this one is more low level and more hands-on. Uh, it comes from people who are aware of uh, how our infrastructure um, had to deal with takedown notices, how that list grows over time, and what uh, uh, are the food guns we should be avoiding. Uh, I did not uh, review this IPP yet, but I thought it's very useful to mention it on this call because there are many people who have been asking about content filtering on gateways. There have been some proposals from, like, from Cloudflare that solves one specific use case, uh, but uh, I feel if we want to have more general purpose uh, list format, it also needs to account uh, for the cost of parsing it and maintaining it over time and already and also the taking account that we have existing uh, lists such as bad bits from uh, protocol labs infra which is used in production by many uh, companies to effectively like fill, block the same like phishing and other but uh, cad's and we kind of like cannot just invent a new format in a vacuum there needs to be a plan how we like backport or at least like how do we convert from one mm -hmm. uh, from the existing system to the new one do we have information what cids were there if we only have hashes then we kind of like need to make the same hashes work with the new system so that's like a uh, why i mentioned uh, it as a potentially interesting read this week um i would try to read it uh, myself as well but that's a TBD, if it's uh, superseding or maybe complementing the IPIP from Cloudflare. Uh, the scope is fairly different, and this one is maybe like a bit more low level. But the idea is that now that we have uh, mul like you know multiple IPFS implementations, and we want to we want to come up with some format that could be reused across them. For example, specifically for even like for IPFS stewards and projects that are maintained by Protocol Labs, uh, the same list should be useful for Kubo based gateways and also for the project RIA or anyone who runs this new Bifrost gateway uh, binary uh, to block uh, unwanted CADs from being loaded uh, through your public gateway, things like that. So that's why I mentioned it. Um, I moved the, the double hashed find providers in reframe from from the uh, in progress to needs triage because uh, we removed the reframe specs from the specs repo. <laughs> so that's kind of like uh, just uh, just uh, so we know that we need to circle back, probably close this uh, and then open a new one uh, based on uh, the new HTTP API for delegated uh, things. Um, sadly, I had no time to uh, to circle back to delegated routing uh, of IPNS and puts, but hopefully next week. I think that's all. I think I just wanted to give a context mm -hmm. why why the denialist format is probably a very good read for people who be, who will be watching this recording. Yeah. 
Cool. Th th thanks a lot, Lytle. Is, uh, I, I guess, is there any, I mean, I, I know Hector has produced this and by default it, it uh, t tags spec stewards. Um, should we proactively do any communication, I guess, in the old one or the, the existing one that uh, Cloudflare was engaged in pointing at the new one to get their comments or? So, so here's the thing, like we are fairly, a few weeks till IPFS thing. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to just uh, flag it as soon as possible because I feel it's not something we need to solve before IPFS thing. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. it will be very good if people who are interested in this, who run public gateways or any type of infrastructure which needs to make a decision, is this CAD okay for yep. me to just process blindly or not? Uh, the, all the people who have uh, uh, technical uh, knowledge about challenges will be meeting uh, during IPFS thing. So... Okay. Kind of like read it before i feel okay. we will have a bunch of maybe like either talks or uh hallway conversations around this so just want to make sure we, as soon as possible people know this uh, ipp is there and uh, just uh, get familiar with it okay uh great yeah th thanks i guess should do you, would you suggest me proactively put any comments in the existing cloudflare one yeah making yeah, sure yeah. that people are aware yeah. of this one mm -hmm. yeah okay Cool. I guess can I can ask uh, can ask Hector to to do that, um, given he's been. Uh, I'll just quickly. Okay, agree. Yeah, I believe like uh, we already have like threads. Uh, was it like IPFS operators or maybe IPFS Nexus? Uh, mm. uh, there's also uh, uh, kind of like semi-private uh, channel about uh, like content filtering. Uh, I've seen uh, this IP information there, but uh, it's still good to have uh, them linked on GitHub for people who may not be in those venues, and that will help to discover. And, and okay. also, at, at the same time, there's uh, there's a nascent effort called the Decentralized Data Compliance Working Group um, that is figuring out what the potential problems are that might get you know someone to decide that uh, ACID is bad CID or that, that that kind of stuff, what kind of governance and processes and risks are behind that. So for the non-technical side of things, you know, bridging to regulation and the such, um, that's also something worth keeping an eye on if, for, for people who are interested in this, especially for operators. Cool. Uh, thanks for sharing. And so, yeah, has that, are you part of the IPFS operators channel? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, um, PR is mirror. Okay, shoot. Excellent. All right, I'll just drop this, finish dropping this comment. News to... Okay, cool. Here, reading. Uh, okay, great. Uh, okay, next on the agenda was, yeah, okay, IPFS thing. Um, I don't particularly have anything else that needs to be raised. Does anyone have any questions or things they want, yeah, to, to talk about IPFS thing, or they are hoping to make sure are coordinated on beforehand? Uh, mm -hmm. Just the item that I dropped in there, which is kind of an open call to contributors we'd like to have somebody from uh, IPFS join us in the content routing work group introductory panel that we're doing. Um, we've got a bunch of tracks on content routing, but I think there's, I realized even this week I was talking to people that had no idea what the content routing work group was doing or <laughs> that we even existed. And we're having these fundamental discussions about, you know, optimizing behaviors within the network. And so, um, the goal of this talk is going to be to introduce everybody to kind of this broader concept of what that work group is, the things that we're discussing, like the topics, and ultimately, like what the roadmap is over the course of the next six months to a year, the kind of things that we're going to try to tackle, which we're kind of wrestling with right now. So, um, you know, I don't know if Lytle, Adine, uh, you know, it, it, it should be a very generalized discussion kind of about the higher level topics and goals that we're trying to solve for, uh, this push and pull that happens between the, you know, design decisions about 
de decentralization or performance and kind of uh, the, these topics that continually recur that we're we're wrestling with. But um, if if anybody's interested in kind of representing IPFS's perspective, um, we'd love to have you there. And I'll basically create a frame discussion around these kind of things and let the group tackle it. Also going to try to grab somebody from Bifrost. And then of course, some of the IPNI uh, team members will be there as well. Um, Probe Lab would of course be welcome, <laughs> but open. Cool. So, okay, so a couple of things there. To, I mean, one just for everyone to be clear, I think when you said IPFS, you were referring to the Andres IPFS stewards. You, you said wanting to have, I just want to make sure it's cool, like that. That's a, that's a, a we are a subset of the overall IPFS community. I was just want to just want to be clear about that. Um, very good. And so, is this a is this a panel of like, and where we're going to have people who have a stake and a perspective on content routing each there? And there's like a set of questions that they're all going to answer. Or, yeah, yeah yep. The Tarfin, just uh, since you mentioned the he started with the word IPFS. It might be really interesting to see about getting someone from Iro there because I know they are they're doing a whole sort of rethink mm -hmm. of the DHT to see if they can make DHTs work at scale. Um, from what I've heard, uh, so it might be interesting if, if if any of them are available. This is a really good idea uh, and one that I am going to be following up on today, Hannah. I, I think that's a great call. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think maybe the a thing that's useful here in making this ask Torfin is what kind of prep work is required. If it's like, hey, we're going to be asking all five of these people these five questions, you just have to show up. That's a that's an easier thing for people to like raise their hand for versus like, oh, I'm responsible for putting slides together and making my making a pitch. Um, Absolutely. Of course, I'll, uh, I'll I'll put that together and we'll uh, we'll take a quick look at it during the next content routing work group. But my vision for this is more of an introduction for people outside the content routing work group to understand and discover the kind of problems that we're wrestling with, not to do any kind of like deep dive on solutioning or uh, necessary like technical review. So um, it, it should be kind of a light touch approach, minimal preparation to participate is my expectation. Okay. Cool. Um, th th thanks. Thanks, Torfin. And then, yeah, obviously, there's been a few comments, but uh, it's self-service for anybody to submit a, a talk. You just go to the website. There's a link at the top about submitting. And again, you don't have to have all of your ducks in a row. Um, I'm sure it's also going to be fine if things come up and you end up having to cancel your talk. But it's right now, it's kind of helping the organizers see what Lego blocks they have to build with as they're flushing out tracks, et cetera. Um, so yeah, if you're wanting to get any airtime at IPFS thing, please get your talks. And even if it's just a sketch right now, um, again, you, you have the ability to come and make updates later, whether that's a change in the title or, you know, or what have you. So, um, but yeah, please, please get those, get those in and we'll look forward to having, seeing people here in, in under a month. Great. And I guess anything, I guess these are kind of related. Um, is that right, Torvin? Anything else you wanted to say about the content routing working group? Yeah, independently for folks that are contributing to the future of the content routing discussions that we're having, uh, just a reminder that we've got uh, kind of a work streams planning ongoing session that folks can take a look at. And if you'd like to contribute ideas for um, kind of discussions around design decisions that you think are really important that should be addressed by this work group, please feel free to add them there and uh, they'll be folded into our prioritization process. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Torben. Uh, I guess we'll switch over to you, Giannis, about IPFS KPIs. Yeah, sure. Uh, hi, everyone. So we're um, we're making an effort to define um, IPFS KPIs, at least the first step towards that. Uh, and uh, we thought that this group is um, a good one to at least, at least call out uh, for. And um, what we're looking to do in the first place is try to come up with kind of high level metrics and KPIs uh, that would give a good view uh, of what's happening in the network. And um, that goes from kind of more static things like network size and stability 
uh, to more performance oriented. Um, currently, we're focusing on uh, Kubo and the DHT, but in the future, we're going to expand to other uh, areas as well. Uh, then there is traffic, there is um, abnormalities and kind of health of the network uh, and so on. So um, uh, one way to think about this is not that um, these are the most detailed KPIs that, um, or detailed metrics that um, you know, a developer or an engineer with knowledge of IPFS would look for. Um, but rather, you know, the high level entry point that, you know, high level stats that someone would like to, um, to see in the, uh, in a dashboard. So um, feel free to put your ideas there. Um, if you have ideas about more detailed metrics, feel, feel free to put them there. Uh, we're not going to stay to the KPI level. So the KPI, you can think of that as a kind of landing page of a website, like what you see first, and then you're going to be able to dive deeper into other uh, metrics in the dashboard. So um, yeah, two asks, one about high level metrics that could be seen as KPIs. Secondly, you know, if you have something more detailed about your implementation or about what you think an implementer would be, um, uh, would be interested to look at, uh, just post in that uh, discussion forum thread. I'm also putting it in the chat here. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll have all that very soon. Cool. Yeah. Th 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 thank you, Giannis. And at a at a high level, like yeah, where you're, do you want to share just a little bit of the plans of kind of where you're hoping to to take this in the next you know couple months? Um. Yeah, so some of these metrics that we have, especially what is there right now, we already have, and you can find them in the uh, weekly reports about the APFS network that we're posting every week in the network measurements repository. Um, and we hope to have this list of KPIs, at least the ones that we're going to agree on. Uh, I'm putting another list together after a very useful uh, chat with um, Lido and Gus. Um, we're hoping that over the next month or so, ideally up to IPFS thing, we're going to have the majority of those in place and reported on a weekly basis. Cool. Some of them might go a little bit off, but yeah, I would say rough guess, you know, 80% of those will be reported on a stable uh, kind, of, uh, kind of durable website um, or GitHub repository every week. And then we'll go from there to start to keep on adding other things that people um, have requests for. Okay, great. Th th thanks, Giannis. And um, I guess just on this subject, right? So Giannis and the ProBlab team, you know, every week are publishing new uh, reports. And so th those, you can access those at, from stats.ipfs.network, right? That's the, that's the URL. Yeah. Um, it just right now is linking to a GitHub repo or redirecting there. Uh, and then accompanying with that, and I think we're going to create a, a dedicated, or we'll move these into a, a category so you can just subscribe to it, but there will be a, uh, a discuss post about that week's, uh, metrics so that any questions or, you know, anomalies observed or investigation items are all, um, kind of contained so you, you can. You know, so we have a durable place where like, hey, what, what happened back in March 10th? Like, what, what was that a spike in the graph? We've got that captured somewhere. And there's like a canonical place for people to go ask those questions as they're looking at the graph. So that kind of this weekly review of network metrics is that engine is getting started. Um, and yeah, I think we'll have that even more in place by IPFS thing. Thanks a lot for bringing, bringing the data to the equation, uh, Giannis and team. Good stuff. Thanks a lot. Okay, that's the end of the agenda items. Did anyone have anything else they wanted to bring up? Okie doke. Well, yeah, thank, thanks all. Again, we'll have this meeting again yeah, two, two weeks from now. So we'll have another uh, sync up before IPFS thing. And obviously a lot of conversations in IPFS thing. Um, I know people are very active in preparing for that uh, or you know, get either presentation wise or getting certain deliverables done. Um, so thanks, thanks for all the hard work that is happening right now and look forward to engaging with more folks uh, here soon. I'll stop the recording, thanks.
Yes, recording has stopped. I don't know if anyone had anything they were wanting to say that wasn't on the recording. If so, feel free to. Otherwise, I assume people will start dropping. Bye. Okay. Adios. Oh, Bye, all. Thanks, everyone. Bye.